up we made it what's up it's friday again so we're gonna do another really easy approachable problem um this problem is labeled as easy i haven't looked at it yet so hopefully it actually is easy and i'm not here for half an hour like yesterday trying to debug something that should have been much simpler if i thought about the problem more thoroughly anyways let's go ahead and get started yesterday's history tomorrow's a mystery today's a gift that's why they call it the present all right problem 2432 the employee that worked on the longest task that was me yesterday. There are N employees, each with a unique ID from zero to N minus one. You are given a 2D integer array logs, where logs I equals ID and the leave time of I. ID is the employee that worked on the ith task, and leave time is the time which the employee finished the ith task. All the values, note that the ith task starts the moment right after the ith minus one task ends. Return the ID of the employee that worked the task with the longest time. All right, so this task took two minutes. This one took three minutes. This one took four minutes. This one took uh, six minutes because it's just this minus the previous task time, so one. Okay, so we can probably just go through We want the smallest ID though. Are the IDs ordered now? Nothing's ordered. All right, so we'll have, we'll just do, all right, so we'll have max time equals zero and max ID negative also equals zero. So we'll assume, well, we'll, uh, we'll assume that the uh, we'll assume that the zeroth person has the max time. This is just a holder value, so we'll go through each log in reverse. So for some say, "What up? What up? I made it." So the delta is zero, or previous, ah, previous leave time, uh, oh, what am I doing? All right, previous leave time equals zero, and we're going to say for ID, ID and leave time. Whatever, we'll just call it ID. We'll just override what things mean because we're, we're having fun today for ID leave time in logs. So the time it took equals leave time minus prev leave time. And prev leave time now equals leave time. And then if time is greater than max time, Then max ID equals ID. All right. Now, if else if, I guess, else if time equals max time and ID is less than max ID, so there's someone else with a lower ID who spent the max amount of time, then max ID also equals ID. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes I wonder. Right. So that can be one statement. Max ID equals ID and max time equals, sorry about that. Max ID equals max ID and max time equals time. And then we return max ID. Sounds good. Hey, hey, 
yeah, yeah. It's a party in the USA. Um, so we could probably make this a little bit better. So, some say, what up, what up, I made it. You know, this is fine, but, you know, we can always find a way to shorten it a little bit. All right, so that's one line shorter. I guess this could also be on this line. Um, there we go. So now we got one, two, three, four, five line solution. Less than 99%. Stupid. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that made sense. Basically, what you do is like trying to find the max in any array. You just go through and you say, is this new delta, is this new time greater than the previous thing that I think is the max time? Oh, okay, then it must be the max. And just go through everything like that. Gang, gang, back in the stoop. Yeah. That was cringe.